Okay, so picking up right where we left off, um, we have a line trace that is shooting, but we really, we got a lot of issues with it. You can see it's not really registering when it hits the character, and we really don't even know what it's hitting. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use that line trace to kind of get an idea of what's going on. So let's escape out of here. Let's go to our third person character and enter our calculate shoot to uh, thing here. So basically what I wanna know is what am I hitting um, and so you can say <clears throat> hit actor or hit component. So let's get off of here, our hit actor, type in print string. Okay, back out of there. Say uh, get name and go up to get display name and that's gonna return a string for you. Then you can print string off of that. Okay. So remember only if you actually hit something, which is this top line, are you gonna wanna do that? because otherwise you're trying to call something that doesn't exist from like if you shoot in the sky. So now we should start having some return. Okay, see, it says floor, wall number 10, cube mesh, uh, left arm static mesh, that's what they call that thing, uh, whatever. And it's saying wall here. Um, that's because we don't have our line traces set up. It's not actually even hitting our character. Um, and that's because we're not using a custom line trace. So we're gonna go ahead and have to set that up before this thing is going to return any information on our character and while we're doing that we might as well set up all of the line traces for um, all the line traces all the collision stuff everything and if you notice i'm bringing up a couple of references um, on how i'm gonna remember to set up your collision this is very confusing stuff and without notes I would be totally lost. So I'm going to bring them up in the over in the other monitor over here, and that way I can reference them as I make these out. So let's go over to our project settings. Um, if you need to get there, just go to settings, project settings, and go ahead and type in collision in the search. Okay, that did not get where I wanted. Let's see if I can find it. Did I spell it wrong. What did I do? What did I do? Okay, just go under engine and type, and I guess just do that. Okay, so you see you have, if you hit this drop down, you have your, these are the uh, s presets for collision that your various blueprints can select. And then you're gonna have your object channels and your trace channels. So let's go ahead and make our object channels. So let's do a new object channel and I'm gonna bring up my reference over here so that way I can look at it. Okay, so new object channel, and we're gonna call this our projectile object. So, and we're gonna set its default response to block, because most things that we're sending a projectile through, we wanna go ahead and block. There are a few instances where we don't, but we're gonna set it to default to block. Okay, so we got a projectile object. Let's add another object. Let's call it our character object. Okay, once again, um, we want our character to, uh, the object to actually block most things that comes across. So set that to block. And then we want another object channel for our capsule. Um, we do want a lot of things to go through this, but we all, it's kind of a, a medium here. So we're gonna go ahead and click accept on block with that. Now with our trace channels, um, we really, right now, there's only one that we need, and we're gonna go ahead and make that our, um, uh, our projectile trace channel. So new trace channel. Notice we, we had visibility on the last one. We're gonna make this one specific for us. Projectile trace, okay. And I guess the most confusing part about all this, you can set it all great here, but if you don't remember to set it up in your stuff, it's not gonna work. Okay, so we have our objects and our trace channels. Now we need to make the presets so we can actually select these. Okay, so Windows 10 decided to completely crash and, um, well not crash, but wipe everything off my screens, including shutting off all my recording software. So we should have left off right where 
um, the projectile object or character object or capsule object and our projectile trace were made. These are very simple. You can just uh, new object channel and new trace channel, add those in there, no big deal. So what we're about to do is add in our various presets so that way our characters and objects can select those things. So just select new. Um, this one is gonna be for our projectile collision. Okay, you can name it uh, projectile. Actually, I should probably do like collision so we know a short, so we know it's there. Um, we want to make sure that we have collision enabled query in physics. Uh, object type, it's going to be our projectile object. So projectile collision, that's the preset. Collision enabled, projectile object. Um, we can fill in the description later. Our visibility, uh, th these are other line traces. We're going to ignore that. We're also going to ignore um, projectile other projectile traces and we want to ignore projectile objects we don't want projectiles colliding with projectiles and you might say well it's uh realistic to do that in gaming though uh, it doesn't work so great uh, especially if people are spraying rounds everywhere and usually the the collisions are slightly bigger than actual bullets so anyway just uh, set it like this for now. Um, if you want to do ultra realistic where the bullets are colliding with each other, go right ahead. But what will really start happening, they'll start stacking on top of, because um, when the bullet collides with a person, it stays there for a moment. And so if you're dumping multiple rounds on top of each other onto a, onto a person, they'll, they'll start hitting each other and colliding with each other rather than colliding with your person. Probably, maybe, I don't know. But this is the way I know it works. So projectile collision, uh, make sure this is set just like this, and then go ahead and hit accept, and then that all projectile call will come right down there. We need to do another one. This one is gonna be the character mesh. Go ahead and put something in front of it, you'll remember, I'm putting my name. Mark character mesh collision. Uh, collision enabled, uh, collision enabled query in physics. We want to use the character object. And we want all of this stuff right here can be block, except we want to ignore other character objects and we want to ignore capsules. This may not be set exact how we're going to keep it, but what it's going to do for right now, it stops you. There's weird physics stuff that can happen. Like if you have, uh, if you're bumping into other characters and other capsules on those characters, you'll start launching clear across the screen or up into outer space. It's very, very unusual thing, but uh, it can happen. So we still might have to tweak these later on. We most likely will. Go ahead and accept on there. Um, then we need to do another one for our capsule. So say, let's see, capsule collision. Uh, collision enabled, let's see, query, uh, query in physics, we may, yeah, we're going to probably need that. Uh, we're going to make this the capsule object. Ah, see, I, see, I had just landed this capsule. That can get confusing. We need to go back and change that. Uh, we wanted to go ahead and ignore visibility, ignore, uh, projectile trace, and we're going to ignore the projectile object. It's very important. We'll, if you don't uh, ignore the projectile object, the projectile will collide with the um, capsule rather than the person and your hits will register, but it's all gonna be the capsule and we wanna actually hit the bone um, notification. So we know, and with the bone notifications, they'll tell you, did you get a headshot? Did you get an arm shot? Did you get a body shot? What'd you hit? And then you can do uh, damages accordingly. So, Hit accept on that. So then you got your projectile collision, mesh collision, capsule collision, and we wanna go ahead, can we edit this? Yes. Okay, capsule object. Okay, accept. Capsule object, go into your capsule collision. Capsule object, it did populate down there. Okay, so we're good. I hope I have these all set right. We're gonna go ahead and start testing some things out 
go to your third person character and in the uh line trace channel we're gonna go ahead oh it didn't set go ahead and close this let's open it again and see if it uh put it in there there it is sometimes you gotta have close things and open it for it to register so select your projectile trace compile save save all um now we we need to set our collisions that we made for our various characters and objects so let's start with our capsule drop down to where it says collision and collision presets it's set on pawn we want to select our capsule collision right here at the bottom that we made you can look down your drop down and you can see you can't edit it from here you have to edit it in the preset but that's everything about our capsule that we just did compile save that don't forget we got to do that with our mesh as well uh let's see let's just short way you can do this collision uh collision presets mark character mess uh, mark character mesh collision uh compile save that go to the mesh again you should be able to drop it down um get your character object i'll find a nanny there file save all let's see if we've forgotten something we probably have but Oh, see, right here. You can no longer get to your weapons. Why do you think that is? Take a guess. It's related to collision. Since we made our custom collision, um, we didn't make one for our pickups. We eventually will, but let's just go into our pickup collision and see what preset it's using, and you'll see what the problem is right away. So go into your third-person example. Go into, I want to get into here, but I don't want to be there. Blueprints weapon pickup master double click that go to the box box is what's really determining your collision here you go into here and you're like well i have overlap all dynamics so it should be overlapping everything i should be great and fine but remember when we did our objects we set them to default to block and if you look over here your new objects are still on block most of the stuff you want on block but you don't want overall dynamic to be blocked because that's kind of that's a overall dynamic is something that was um that's defaulted with the engine so when you add in new objects it, it doesn't know to do anything other than what you tell it and you told it block or i told you to tell it block so we need to move all those over. So we need to go back into our project settings, go into our, there should be a different color here. See overlap all dynamic. Make sure you're doing overlap all dynamic and not just overlap all. You can change those as well, that's fine. But double click overall dynamic and go ahead and move these, all, these new objects to uh, overlap, 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 accept. Go back into your third person example map, save all, press play. And let's see if it updated without us restarting. Okay, now we can walk over our weapons. We can pick them up. That's great. Okay, and it hit the mark third person character. That's great. And notice, here's a very important thing. At this point, if I hadn't done the collision right, it would it would be zipping. It would it wouldn't be zipping past his head. These 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 line traces and going to the wall. It would be hitting the capsule. A good way to check is to um, shoot right here. See, it wouldn't make it between his legs if you had um, if you had it not. It would it would be bouncing off the uh, the capsule. If you're doing that, you've set something wrong. If if it's hitting the capsule and not going through the legs, you know you've uh, messed up. But see, that's great. It's hitting the third person character. But I want to know if it's actually registering the uh, the bones properly. And you know it's hitting the character because when it goes through, it's green. If it's not green. You've set something wrong and it's not going through properly. Make sure you have the check marks as I had them. Escape out of here. Uh, what I want to do is go into our third person character, go into your calculate shoot to function, and instead of hit actor, go hit bone name. Okay, that doesn't want to hit bone name. Let's see if we can go into string. Cool. And then plug that into your. See this? I went right into the hit to the print screen, which disconnected this. You can delete that. So now it's going to give our bone names. Compile, save, file, save all. Press play. And now, there we go. Uh, you see upper arm R. 
spine one, pelvis, thigh. None is when it's hitting like the ground and stuff like that. Um, head, spine two. Now you're registering your bones. And when we go to set up damages, you'll be able to say, um, okay, uh, I want it, if it's a headshot, I want it to be, you know, kill instantly. Uh, if I hit the leg, I want it to be, you know, minus 5% health. Whatever you want to do, you can do. And, and uh, we will get into that. But now, with all those set up correctly, you should be good to go. So we've tested it on client. Shift F1. Let's see what we got over here. That's another client. Uh, great. Uh, let's go ahead and drop into, we're on a dedicated server, so let's go down into a non-dedicated session. Okay, I'm playing as the server. Okay, all looks well. Okay, I was missing, I was just making sure it was saying none, I was wondering why. Uh, so let's make sure the client can hit the server. Okay. Cool. So, and, and see, you can do a lot with these line traces. So we can also use these line traces for other things like um, when your character is looking, we can be constantly firing a line trace that will tell you what you're looking at. So you could run off this hit actor and say, okay, I'm looking at a box of ammo and then ammo, what type of ammo, like two, two, three round could, could pop up on your screen. So you know, that's what it is. So there's a lot you can do with these things. Um, like, let's say you wanted to know, a component will also, give you some information that's valuable. Convert that, compile, save, save all. Okay, uh, let's see what we're getting out of here. Okay, it's getting specific to what you're hitting um, on the components. And you can use, and we, all this various information can be used for different things. So, that's that's pretty good. This is probably one of those big hang up points where you can get stuck. Um, so I want to make sure that dedicate your time to this. Make sure that you have all of your um, presets just right, and that way, because if you don't have it right here, if you're if you jump onto the next thing, um, and then then your projectiles will be hitting wrong, and things will not. It'll be a bad day. So you want to make sure that you have it set right here. Your collisions are right. Yeah, you can go set them up in the future, but then you're going to be confused as to whether um, is it my projectile, is it set up wrong? Or is it something like, um, you know, back here where I need, you know, so just get it right now, okay? You get that, get that set up right, get your collisions right, and you'll be good to go. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. Um, next, next time, we're going to actually be spawning the projectile and firing it.